Are you tired, Ms. Farm? We've, we've had a long day's work. Yes, we have. Because after we went to this seafood truck, we did a lot of yard work. We got, did. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Isn't it pretty? Mm-hmm. It's very pretty. We mowed a lot of ground today. I'm starving. All right. So the seafood truck, Gulf Coast Connection. Yeah. Or on uh, Facebook, it's AB Seafood. Okay. And I thought, if this is really good, I'm going to put their telephone number out. Here's the telephone number. That red shrimp, we've already eaten it. So A good. whole bag of it. Tastes it. like lobster. It was like little baby lobsters. It was beautiful, Delicious. fresh. The fish is fresh. I, You know, if, I've been around fish my whole life. This is quality. One, we already ate all the oysters, too, the by the way. Oysters were good. Nick we, shucked those We would have done, yeah, <laughs> Nick shucked them. We would have done a recipe, but they disappeared. They did. So anyhow, speaking of seafood, fish. Yum. Fresh snapper. Do you know usually when we go, and here's a picture of me holding up a huge snapper we got in Mexico. Whenever we're on the coast somewhere, we pay for a charter service. You don't have to do that here. You don't even have to go out on a boat. Now, I still like to go out and I like to catch right. them because they fight. But we found a way to get fresh seafood. And they even cleaned them. I like that. Oh, they're done. They're ready to go. But first of all, let's make a quick, delicious marinade. Okay. Nothing to it. Get some big honking leaves of our basil here. That's Look at that. One. You know right. what? Grab a couple oregano. All right. Okay, let's start this, uh, the liquid portion of this off with three and a half, four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Let's go three tablespoons of olive oil. All right, now let's take that lemon that's sitting there looking at us and let's uh, let's use, say, half of the juice, All maybe right. a little more. Now let's take our basil and our oregano. Let's go ahead and chop that up, put it in there. Let's go some pepper. And let's, let's go ahead and press, I'd say at least, as I'm putting some red pepper flakes, just a little bit, not a lot. Let's do at least eight cloves of garlic. I'm practicing my kung fu grip. We like a little press because it releases the flavor and squeezes all the juice out of these guys. So now, let's see, let's do some salt. Let's put a little bit of water in there. All right. Let's make it go a little further. That's That was five and three quarters tablespoon. Oh yeah, I knew that exactly. A lot of times you go to the store and you will see something called this, that, or the other. I know what this is. Right. And I know where it came from. And this was swimming a couple of days ago. That's fresh, that's beautiful. I know I have fish for these guys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right, let's put those in the bag. All right. And we're gonna let these soak for about an hour. Look at that, look at that beautiful. You can tell when something's fresh just by looking at it. Let's go ahead and put some of that in there. And if you will, give it a good mix. All right, now, if you use a grill a lot, you get creative, and we've seen people do this. We love cauliflower. Right. And you can cut, if you've got a very sharp knife, a steak out. This is your deal. Tell me what you're gonna do with the cauliflower. It was, it, we cut them, and they're never perfect, so we're just gonna put some olive oil on these. Just kind of a drizzle? Yeah. All right, this olive oil, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more of your lemon juice on here. Okay. How about some salt and pepper? Okay. Red pepper flakes, what do you think? I think so. I'll throw some of those on. So we're gonna throw this on our already hot grill when the fish yeah. are almost done. And just as simple as that, when it come off, you're gonna put a little, what, little cheese I on I got there? a Parmesan cheese to put on the very end, too. Oh, if we'll just throw that on. When we that. flip them, we'll put more seasoning on them on the grill. Let's talk about cooking fish on the grill because we're cooking outside today. First thing you wanna do is make sure you got some oil on your grill. Get something that's got a high smoke tolerance, such as grapeseed or avocado oil, and make sure you've got some oil on there. Make sure your grill is really clean because if you got something for it to hang up on, it will. Right. Now, these are skin on. So we're gonna start with the non-skin side in a hot grill, and we're gonna sear that side, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna turn it and cook it the rest of the way. And it depends on how thick your fish is, but generally, I would say these fillets, we're gonna cook them for probably 10 to 12 minutes, maybe a little bit longer, in a hot, hot grill. So when they start to flake, it's time for them to go. Okay, now you wanna look, you can peek inside here and see when it gets flaky, you don't wanna cook it, all the moisture out of it. And it's almost done. You look in the thickest part, when it gets nice and flaky, you're close. This is a bigger fillet, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but we're getting close. Now on the side over here, just a real quick overview. I just took some butter and I took a little white wine, some lemon juice and some capers, and I put a little bit of garlic powder in there. And if you wanted to drizzle that over the top of that, it wouldn't be awful. We're gonna 
gonna put just a little bit of butter on there, Mrs. Yeah. Farmer. Is that okay with you? A little bit I of like that. Too? Look at that, Mrs. Farmer. Can I put some lemon on it? You can. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> you look like you're you, you trying to be berry giving you? you? I got my berry oh, you back. Get your berry I got my berry back. back. <laughs> That's where you use my work. Ooh, ooh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Look at oh let's just look at it. Look at that. So, you wanna try it first? I do. Oh wow. I remember the rib oh, cake wow. is down. It's the delicious. Oh, yeah, I got a little bump. It's good. Here, look at that. Now that's what it's supposed to look like. It's not overcooked. It's still moist. Mm, 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 mm. Now this, we already <laughs> ate one over there. This is phenomenal. Yes, it is. I think almost everybody likes cauliflower. And that cheese really mm. adds right at the end. I like that a lot. This is about as fresh and good as I've ever had. It is if, delicious. If not being there myself and right. catching ourselves. So I tell you what, a lot of people are asking about puppies. They're wanting to know. Those are all spoken for except for two. So they're not cute or anything. No, they're not. We wanted to keep one. <coughs> not, I don't think so. But, but yeah, it's me this time. One I know. But anyhow, if you wanted to find some recipes that we might have done before, where would you find them, Mrs. Farmer? I would go to timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Click on recipes. And you can find a hundred gazillion million there. That's a lot of recipes. Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Facebook page. All you got to do is get on there, hit like, and instantly we're friends. But let's take this moment to sadly say half hour has flown by and yes, it's all it has. about good times, good friends, and super good eats. Way to go. All right, seafood. We'll see you next week on Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Yeah.